Today, we'll be taking a look at the temperature sensor on this Whirlpool electric range. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of repair videos on the latest technology. And for a limited time, you can save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all of our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. You will need the following tools to complete this repair. To begin, must first remove this terminal cover here. It's held on by two Phillips screws on the bottom. Once we take these out, you want to slide down on the plate, pull out, and set it to the side. Next, we'll need to remove the upper rear panel. There are multiple Phillips screws around it. They'll have to be taken out. Now, before I remove the top ones, I'm going to push the panel in and hold up. Let's take the first one out. Second one. You'll want to lift out on the panel, pull down, and set it to the side. Now with the panel removed, you have clear access to the temperature sensor down here. Now the main reason why you would need to access this component is if it is not heating accurately. Now to test out your oven temperature sensor, first you'll have to disconnect the Molex here. And what you will do is, is you will use your meter and set it on ohms and test your oven temperature sensor at room temperature. Your ohm reading should be anywhere from 1100 to 1200 ohms if it is way off, it will need to be replaced. Now, in order to replace it, you have one Phillips screw in the bottom that's holding it in. We'll simply remove the screw, pull out on the sensor, and set it to the side. When installing a new oven sensor, first we will slide it in through the insulation, and it should fit in through a little hole in the cabinet. Once you get it in there, we will reinstall our screw. Plug back in the Molex. And now we can reinstall the top panel. When reinstalling your top rear panel, you're going to bring it in at an angle and it will slide in in the middle, but stay out on the end. So let's have that side in. We'll leave this side out, lift up. Let's get our first screw and we'll start to put it in and tighten it up. Let's maneuver this under here so that we can install the second one. And that should hold your plate so we can go around the remainder of the perimeter and install the others. Now we can reinstall the terminal cover. When reinstalling your terminal cover, we will want to put all of these stakes inside the slotted spots on the oven. So put these in with them facing up. What we'll do is smack on the bottom to lift them up in place. Reinstall our two screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video from appliancevideo.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like and subscribe to our channel.